Okay, how about a prettier version of your forecast? I'm still a little ice cream or something to get that thought of that taste. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. well, we could use some ice cream. For, yeah, you're right. still sweltering out there. Yeah, you're in the desert. <laughs> Thanks for the reminder. We've got some more heat for you, although not as hot. Before we get to the big numbers, and they were big yet again today, you know, we had so much weather the last few days, we neglected to do a little recap on the Persids meteor showers last week. How about these shots? Greg McKay, now he's a member of the Las Vegas Astronomical Society. He lives in Henderson, but in order to really get a great view, he had to go way up north. We're talking central Nevada, north of Tonopah, and I think it was worth the while. He captured some spectacular shots of the meteor, shore, meteor shower one week ago last night. And if you missed a view of the International Space Station this evening. Got another chance tomorrow night. A rather bright pass. We'll start at 7.57, last till 8.03, moving from the northwest to the southeast, and we should have a clearer sky because we're expecting less smoke from the fires in California. 108 degrees for the high temperature today, but that's it. The excessive heat warning has expired and not expected to be continued, at least not anytime soon, when you look at the forecast. Now, we probably could have eked out another degree or two, but the sunshine was filtered by the smoke. Again, this is running from east of Fresno, and because of the light winds, it was able to just stroll across our sky, and actually it's caused the air quality to maintain its moderate status. Not unhealthy, but just a step below in the moderate category, still at this hour. It's 99 degrees near Cary and Hollywood. The humidity at only 10%. Up at Brian Cram, that is up in Aliante, 91 and 14%. And one more stop will take us to Jones and Smoke Ranch in the northwest, 96 and 12%. So everybody has fallen to the double digits. In fact, Centennial Hills dipping down to 89 degrees. It's 93 downtown. All these numbers, of course, down from some cooking highs. 111 on the east side, 110 downtown, and then up near Camino. El Dorado and Ann Road. Mount Charleston's coming in at 74. The lake still at 98. Overton had a high temperature today of 112. Perump maxed out at 107. Our official high of 108 and the morning low too, both above normal. 12th day this month, we've had an above normal day. And inside the car, the carmometer, 141 degrees. Now, it would have been hotter if we didn't have the smoke because that straight piercing sunshine with clear air, that can even be more intense, but 141 is hot enough. We'll start in the 80s in the morning, triple digits by lunchtime. I think we're going to max out at 106, but the good news tomorrow, the breeze picks back up, and even though it's going to give us the blow dryer, that 10 to 20 mile per hour wind in the afternoon will clear the smoke out, we think, by probably by early afternoon. There's Danny, tropical storm, 50 mile per hour sustained winds. One of the traits of an El Nino is a more active Pacific tropical season and a less active Atlantic season. It's going to be a minimal hurricane as it approaches the Leeward and Windward Islands, so we'll keep an eye on it nonetheless, but it's only the fourth named storm. We are, for the most part, cloud-free. Most of the clouds go on north. Really, our next focus cloud-wise is the monsoonal moisture expected to start rising in our direction come early next week. Mountains going down to 55, 77 in Mesquite. Uh, that would make two pair. Then high temperatures tomorrow. Boulder City, 105. Pahrump, 102. Laughlin up to 108. For the Las Vegas Valley, we're going down to 83 tonight. Still some patches of haze out there, and I think we're going to deal with that through at least mid-morning tomorrow. Once that breeze picks up, that'll start clearing the smoke out, and then it'll just be hot sun, 106. So that's regular hot, not excessive hot or excessively hot. 103 on Friday. Look how we back off. 102 on Saturday. It's early next week. We'll have that slight chance for thunderstorms. And you know what that means? That means that all everybody's favorite, the humidity, is on its way back. Yay! And that's all, oh, no, no need to Can thank me. Can you hear me. the sarcasm? No, no, no need to thank me. It's not, <laughs> hey, it's not till after the weekend. Settle down. Okay, okay, that's good. You get some points there. <laughs>